Greetings YouTube and welcome to the episode 118 of the 4000 question challenge. Okay, we're going to start off with, do you enjoy sharing leisure time or prefer to be alone? And the answer to that is yes. It all depends on the particular state of mind that I am in. There are times that I most definitely enjoy being alone. Um, Sometimes that means sitting here and being alone in my leisure time or watching movies in the living room. Uh, and sometimes that means uh, bargain hunting, usually, going to different places. Uh, I can hit six or seven thrift stores, antique stores in a day if I'm alone. And that's more than my wife will ever be able to tolerate um, in a single day. Um, but I also really enjoy my wife's company or seeing my friends. So it all depends on my state of mind. So that isn't an answer that I can give a definitive yes or no to, uh, or be uh, a hard one on. So there you go. Hi, Cap. How you doing? Um, what music do you prefer to listen to when you are alone? Um, most of the time, I'm listening to classical music when I'm alone. Uh, most of the time, I'm listening to NPR. I'm listening to music. Uh, it's uh, it's classic. Yes, I know you love my book. Um, what was the last great play or movie you discussed with other people? Wow, that's... Now, you're talking... Like, when you say great play or great movie, are you just seeing it's like this says that it's popular or it's considered great by experts or by the populace? What do you mean by that? Um, because I've seen... Let's see, I guess... The last big, really big blockbuster I saw... Ah, Cat. A big blockbuster I saw was probably um, Avengers uh, Endgame. But I see classic science fiction films all the time. I see occasionally you know, classic dramas. Um, I haven't been to a play in a very long time, so I couldn't, can't really answer that one. But I guess that really depends on what you mean by that. So, hmm, that's good. Last great play or movie. So yeah, that's a really open to interpretation as of what is defined by great. Do I have to refer to Ebert for that one? Um, have you ever seen a triple X movie? Yes. How old are people supposed to be who are asking these questions? I mean, because I'd seen one of those before I turned 18. So, um... I can't imagine most people in the Western world haven't at some point seen, I mean, well, maybe the modern era, they haven't actually watched an entire triple X movie. I've seen entire triple X movies, beginning, middle, and end. Uh, many of them very poorly done. Some of them are done, and, and done poorly in an entertaining manner. Um, I guess nowadays, most people just, like, watch clips of porn if they're interested in something. I wonder how many people who see this video have have never seen a triple X movie. I'd be intrigued by that. What movie set would you have liked to 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 live on? Ooh. What movie set would you have liked to live on? Now that's intriguing. Because that implies that I know it's a movie set. So I don't think I want to live on any movie set, because movie sets aren't places to live. They're utterly artificial. Now if you were to say, you know, what movie set would you like to have live on if it were real? Like, this is this is the real world, so you get to live in this real world place. Um, um, I'm going to go with some nice peaceful backwater of the uh, Star Trek universe. Or maybe even a nice peaceful corner of the Orville universe. Uh, because those places have solved the whole... It, post-capitalist, post-scarcity problem, and uh, humanity is living in a halcyon age. If it wasn't for the writers screwing things up for a story arc, um, it's a pretty good our place to live, so that would be cool. Um, my device just told me I may not have enough resources for something. I don't know why. Huh? I guess we'll find out when I try to play this back if I actually record it or not. Well, that's just spiff. Oh, 
gives me lots and lots of encouragement. But that's a really strange way of framing that question. What movie set would you have liked to live on? Because I would have liked to have visited Blade Runner or the Star Wars films. Those would have been really cool to be on. Um, but I wouldn't want to live on any of them because, again, movie sets aren't places you live. But in the world of Star Trek, past, post-scarcity, post-capitalism, yeah, I'm all over that. Um, what musical instruments would you like to learn or improve your performance on? Well, I mean, like, like if somebody went, here, you can now play this instrument, you need to give me some stringed instruments, but I'm not going to actually learn how to use, how to do that because I'm, I'm lazy and my passion for it is next to nothing. But it's the one of those ubiquitous types of instruments there is. Um, and lots of people like string instruments, and I like string instruments. Um, but I'm not going to actually learn how to, how to use one. Um, poetry, do you like it or not? Books really look at it, things in black and white dichotomies. Like, this is, this is an on-off kind of thing. There are types of poetry I enjoy. There are ty po types of poetry I don't. Like, I, I like, I enjoy a good haiku. Um, I used to write poetry. I don't really write any, any longer, but at one point it was really important to me. It, we are multitudes. Excuse me. Do you prefer clean or dirty jokes? Do I turn... Just, just beeped. I don't know why something just beeped. Oh, I'm not happy with my system today. Um, again, we are multitudes. Clean jokes, I think, are sometimes a little more difficult to pull off. Blue is sometimes easier to create. So maybe the clean ones, just because there can be a little bit more... So I don't know if I just lost my connection. All right, well, we got two more questions, and we're going to go check and see if this video actually worked. Do you, prefer, do you shop for fun or only when you need something? I am a bargain hunter by, by inclination. I hunt for fun. I love to shop for things and find the weird crap and take pictures of things that I don't even buy because I just find them entertaining. Uh, do you like being on the phone? I do it because I have to do it. I don't mind conversations on the phone. When I was younger, it was really important, but that was in an era before we had texting and email and the internet and things, so the phone was the form of communication. So, again, times change. We're multitudes. These, the world isn't as cut and dry as these questions seem to be presenting themselves with. All right, let's go check and see if this video actually recorded. Um, but this is in episode 118 of the 4,000 Question Challenge. Thank you for being here, and I hope that you will be here for 119.